The constant challenge of dealing with fires every day, or having to run after a car accident or having to rescue a lifeless child in a lake, has made Celeb, a man who works as a fire chief, in Albany, Georgia Station have problems in his marriage. He finds no peace in his relationship with his wife, Catherine Holt. Because she, like him, spends her days busy trying to manage her work as director of a hospital, in addition to household chores and also her mother's illness. They must overcome their problems to learn to live as a couple in order to be happy. But still unable to overcome the marital crisis, they have already been married for seven years and the distance between them reaches the point of not greeting each other at the beginning of their day. All it takes is for Caleb to ask him when he's going to the supermarket, to trigger a strong argument between them. On the other hand, at the fire station, Caleb, venting to his friend William, tells him that he doesn't know what to do with his wife, since she doesn't respect him and that his marriage no longer works. He tells him that she understands him very well, because he went through the same situation in her previous marriage. But William can't help him because not even he knew how to do it. Since it was not his marriage that was wrong, but him. Every day when she got home, there was a different situation, how is it the case of coming home and not getting dinner and seeing some plates where they certify that she did eat, that enrages Caleb, for which a new discussion of offenses begins and claims, where she claims the lack of communication. Kat thinks that she is the one who works the most, because apart from her work she has the obligation to help her parents on the weekends. The arguments have reached such a point that they insult each other, Caleb complains that she is selfish, that he is tired of that marriage, Kat, scared, corners herself against the wall and tells him that she does not want to continue with that marriage. This angers Caleb even more, and causes Kat to go to the room crying, take off her wedding ring and throw it away, while Caleb, to drain his anger, leaves the house and hits everything in his path. The next day they both go to complain to each of their friends about how miserable their lives are, each of them blaming the other. Caleb's heart has hardened and they both feel misunderstood, their selfishness does not let them understand that little by little they are ending their marriage. That same day, when Caleb is at work, he talks to his father on the phone to tell him that his wife wants to separate from him. But the call is interrupted by an emergency, where two vehicles, each containing a couple of boys who were about to race, collide with each other. When Caleb arrives at the scene of the accident, he gets the chilling scene of the collision of the vehicles, but one of them is on top of the railroad tracks with two girls in very bad shape, one alive but unresponsive and the other in a lot of pain. I can't get out. Where are you hurting? As much as Caleb radioed for them to communicate with the railway controllers to avoid further damage, they failed. In view of this, and seeing that the train is getting closer and closer, they decide to move the vehicle out of the way to prevent it from being dragged, but the weight and how stuck it is, does not allow it to move. Everyone experiences moments of terror, especially the girl who, aware of what is happening, falls into a crisis, vociferating cries of despair. In that, the train horn sounds and all those who are watching are stunned by what will happen, however, at the last minute they came to help. And that's how they were able to save the lives of the two girls, without anyone suffering any harm. After that difficult moment, Caleb goes to his father's house, <laughs> surprised, wants to know why his marriage is going wrong. Caleb, as usual, begins to complain about how hard his work is, and does not agree with having to get home to find everything in a mess, and unable to say anything because otherwise an argument will be generated. It is there that her mother intervenes and tries to explain to her son that they both need help, but Caleb gets annoyed with her and treats her badly, arguing that everything is Kat's responsibility. It is then, when his father begins to tell him that their marriage went through such a situation and that it was the Lord who worked on them. This makes Caleb even more upset, who indicates that he wants nothing to do with God. In view of his refusal, his father only tells him to postpone his divorce for 40 days, and wait for something that will arrive at his house. The next day, Caleb receives a notebook titled, The 40 Day Love Dare. El reto del amor. Through the notes collected there, his father advises him to follow the challenge fully, and he will see that it will be the only thing that will allow him to save his marriage. Confused and incredulous, 
Caleb ends up accepting the challenge, but not before expressing that he no longer feels love for his wife. On the other hand, Catherine's strong resentment will push her to look at another man who treats her in a different way and full of attention, Dr. Keller. Meanwhile, Caleb is at his work hour when the alarm goes off and he has to go help a house fire. Upon arrival they certify that a girl is inside the house trapped in the flames, the situation becomes tense as people try to get in to get the child out. Caleb quickly enters to rescue her, but an explosion makes the rescue more difficult, leaving them trapped, which is why he gives the little girl the mask and desperately tries to get out before the burning ceiling falls on him. Until he happily managed to get out and save the girl. However, he was injured, which is why they take him to the hospital where Kat works, and she is there, but she did not pay the slightest attention to him. Days later Caleb begins to guide himself through the book that his father sent him, and he begins to develop all the attention that he did not have with his wife before, how to clean the house, surprise her with a romantic dinner, give her flowers among many other things. But despite everything, he only receives the rejection of his wife. <laughs> To his frustration, he continues to insist that if his marriage is failing, it is not his fault, but his wife's. This makes his friend William remind him that when two people get married it is to be through thick and thin, and that marriages are always fireproof, that means that you have to be ready to face problems at as they appear. Following the advice of his friend, Caleb again tries to be more attentive to her wife, taking care of things with her, like sending her flowers. But that doesn't work, as Kat remains aloof and determined to divorce him. Faced with apparent failures and with the temptation to abandon the challenge on several occasions, his friend and his father are the only ones from whom he receives the encouragement to continue until the 40 days of the challenge are over. Nothing seems to make progress in their challenge, since one day Kat arrives and finds Caleb who is deleting the computer's history so that she would not see the pages she visits, so she complains to him about the behavior he has had towards her lately, and he is not going to deceive her with that good boy routine, that nothing he does will help, since she spoke with a lawyer to start the divorce process. That ignites Caleb's anger, and he questions her why she never assumes that he can do something worthwhile, or respectable toward her. Kat's response is even harsher. She insinuates that what she was seeing on the computer is prohibited and there is nothing honorable about that. Then she finds out from her that hours before her mother was given the devices that she needed so much. This leaves Kat very surprised, who assumes that it was Dr. Gavin Keller who paid for those devices. The days go by and both Catherine and Caleb are still away, but now Caleb with his change helps his wife cleaning the house, and stops watching lewd content by getting rid of the computer. Now Caleb's heart, which was on fire before, begins to calm down. And indeed, with patience and perseverance, his wife notices his change and that is when she discovers the notebook with the challenges of love. Catherine asks him which day she is going for her challenge and he tells her that it is the 43rd, although she finished on the 40th. Catherine is bewildered and reveals that she doesn't know how to process all of this, and that she can't trust him, since he has changed and is no longer the same as before. For which Caleb, expectantly kneels before his wife and expresses that he is sorry, he asks her forgiveness for being selfish and for having trampled her for years with his words and his actions, and also for loving other things before her. God has given me a love for you that I have never had before. He then told her that he has asked God for forgiveness, and tells her that he cannot live without her. Faced with this revelation, Kat tells him she is surprised and that she needs time to think. A day later, Kat returns to her work and discovers that it was Caleb, and not the doctor, who paid for her mother's chair and bed. This news, added to the entire process of her husband's change, makes her believe in her marriage again. So she looks for her wedding ring to put it back on her hand and she heads to Caleb's work to look for it. Once at the fire station, Catherine expresses to Caleb what she has never told him, that he is a good man, that she forgives him from the heart and tells him that she loves him. Something changed in Caleb, and she wants the same to happen to him. Both end up melting into a hug with a kiss of reconciliation, 
after passing the acid test. Sí. Oye, sí. Estás On the other hand, Caleb's father confesses that in his case it was thanks to his wife, Caleb's mother, that he was able to remake his marriage because he was the one who wanted to leave. And it is she who made the same challenge of love. Faced with this revelation, Kat tells him that she is surprised and that she needs time to think. He realizes and regrets that as a man who has great courage in saving lives, with great dedication to his work and true loyalty to his colleagues, he wonders how he has lost the most important thing, the love of his wife. That is why now, together with her, he is grateful for the positive transformation that he carried out in himself, and that allowed him to make the best rescue of her life, the heart of his wife Catherine. Our story ends with the renewal of the vows of Caleb and Catherine, who affirm that marriage is an institution sacred to God, and that it is a lifelong commitment. That you have to be prepared to defy all the litmus tests that come your way. This is the summary of a Christian film called Firefroth, click here so you don't miss the next story.